Hey everybody, Cam Mack from the Cam Mack Adventures here, bringing you another episode of Bippity Boppity Bartender. In this episode, we're going to talk about one of my favorite bars on Disney property and make one of my favorite drinks at that bar. That bar is Abracadabra Bar at Disney's Boardwalk. My favorite drink there is called the Conjurita, and what it is is a margarita, but not just any margarita. It's a color-changing margarita that changes magically before your eyes. Now, you might be wondering how it's done. Well, a magician never reveals its secrets, but luckily, I'm not a magician. I'm a bartender. So, in order to make this cocktail, you're going to need the following tools and the following raw ingredients. A knife and a cutting board, a juicer, cocktail measuring jiggers, shakers, spoons, a strainer, as well as Cointreau or triple sec. Also, any type of Prata or Plata tequila will work. Basically, this one is going to be the Hornitos Plata, but the recipe, if you want to go for authenticity, calls for Gran Centenario. Couldn't find it, but any Plata tequila will do. Also, simple syrup, and if you're unsure how to make that, I'm going to put a link below as to how you can make your own simple syrup at home. Limes. And the secret ingredient, which is butterfly pea flower tea. Now, if you're unfamiliar with that, I'm going to explain it. What it is, is this flower called butterfly pea flower that comes from Japan, and you can actually order it online in the link I'll put below. But what you're going to do is make a tea out of that, which is going to be the special ingredient helping you change your cocktail's color. Let's head over to the stove. I'm going to show you how to prepare the tea. So like I said, butterfly pea flower comes from Japan, and it's a bright blue flower that when you order it as a tea, it actually comes dehydrated like this, and what you're going to do is introduce it and stir it into some hot water. Make sure you take about a cup of water, place it in the microwave for about three minutes, and when it comes out nice and hot, introduce a small handful of the butterfly pea flower into the water and stir it until it's the color that you'd like it. Remember, the longer you leave it in the water, the darker the tea is going to be. Alright, so we've got our butterfly pea flower tea, and now we're going to start building the cocktail. And we're going to grab a separate glass for our lime juice. What you're going to need to do is cut a lime in half, grab your juicer, place the lime in there, and give it a squeeze. Each half of a lime is going to yield about a half to three quarters of an ounce, and we're going to need an ounce for this recipe. So, use both halves. Give that other half a squeeze. And then we're going to set that to the side. Now we're ready to make the cocktail. So we're going to start with simple syrup. And make sure you put in three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Just like that. Now, if you are a big margarita fan, normally it's agave that you put in a margarita, but this one calls for simple syrup because that butterfly pea flower tea has a sort of umami flavor to it you need to mask with proper simple syrup instead of agave. If you want to use agave to make it a little healthier, completely fine. It's just going to taste a little bit more on the nutty side. Then grab your Cointreau, three quarters of an ounce of Cointreau in the cocktail shaker. One and a half ounces of tequila. And finally, butterfly pea flower tea. We're gonna go with two ounces of butterfly pea flower tea. Stick that in the shaker. Now, if you were paying attention, we left the lime juice out. Make sure to leave the lime juice out until we're ready to present the cocktail. Now, we have to shake. Take the other side of your shaker or a cup and go grab some ice from your fridge. Put your ice on into the cocktail shaker and give this about 10 seconds of shaking. Once again, no one's watching except friends and family or the people that live with you, so who better to judge you than them? Shake it as much as you'd like, but 10 seconds is what we're looking for here. All right, separate the top, place that to the side. What you're gonna do is make sure that the guest has a straw or magic wand if you have one handy. <laughs> and we're going to give it to the guest. Here you go, wifey. Now it's time to present. Normally it's done in a short-footed margarita glass, but I couldn't seem to find one, so any glass will do. We're going to use a rocks glass and put the cocktail on in there. And it should be that lovely purple-blue color we're looking for with just a little bit of space left over. Behind the scenes, you're going to want to make sure you have your ounce of lime juice 
in your mixing tin. Now it's time for some magic words. Time for my assistant, Alex Mack, to say the magic words. Abracadabra. Take the cocktail, turn it into your mixer, and when you turn it out, abracadabra. One color changing conjurita. Cheers. Thanks so much for watching Bibbidi Bobbidi Bartender. I've been Cam Mack of the Cam Mack Adventures, and until next time, I can't wait to bring you many more Disney cocktails from home.